When your car air conditioning pressure is jumping up and down like so, not cooling but blowing warm air in your face, this could mean that you don't have enough refrigerant in the system or this could also mean that you have too much refrigerant in the system if you just overcharged it. And to find out exactly what's going on there, technically you need a dual gauge. But since you probably don't have it and not planning to buy one, you could still use your basic single gauge to get a better idea if your system is overcharged or undercharged. And for that you will need to know your outdoor temperature. My ambient temperature is 91 degrees right now, so turn off the car and go outside and watch the gauge. And you will notice that the gauge pressure is going up into the red zone. And typically this would be a pretty bad news. But since your car is in off position, this is normal equalization process between the low and the high side. Just wait for a few minutes until the pressure stops going up. And that's called static pressure. Now, static pressure by itself doesn't mean much, so you need to reference it to your specific outside temperature. And mine was 91 degrees Fahrenheit. And now we can compare the outdoor temperature and the static pressure inside the system. So mine, 91 degrees, falls somewhere here around 90 on the chart, which means the static pressure should be around 104 or 105 ish inside my system. But if you look at the gauge, the actual static pressure is around 130, which is way too high for this outdoor temperature. And that means this system is overcharged. However, in your case, let's say your static pressure went up to only 70 ish psi. This indicates that the static pressure is too low for this outdoor temperature and needs to be charged up. However, if the temperature outside is only 70 degrees Fahrenheit, you don't need to do anything because the temperature and the pressure exactly lined up according to the chart. And I hope you found this video informative. If so, hit the like button and thanks for watching.